Wow. But let's get into my first um, breakdown that I was really excited about when I was watching this shit. Um, so I'm a big fan of Dust. Dust is like a sci-fi channel here on YouTube. And they, 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 they make these awesome short stories. But um, they made a short story that I think it came out two days ago, three days ago. And uh, it, because I'm an old head, so it spoke to me. All right. And um, <laughs> it's called Pinky, not the fat porn bitch. All right. This was shot, I believe, in the, in the, in the northern town of South Korea. Right. So we have a, a, a businessman and he's walking past a trash heap. All right. So this is officially the breakdown part of the show. This is when I edit out this the first part <laughs> for the movie reviews. All right. So uh, a businessman is walking past a trash heap and a pink waifu girl. If you're into Japanese anime, you know what I'm talking about, a waifu. She emerges and begins to follow the businessman. OK, so then the businessman takes a phone call and then the pink waifu girl stands in front of him trying to get his attention. She smiles at him. She takes off her bladed glasses. She tries to give him a hug and he pushes her down. She then hands him an ad for a pink cassette player, a Walkman. She attempts to put his hands up to her to his, she, she attempts to put her hands up to his ears. There's a ringing sound in his in his in his ears and he steps back. He drops his phone. He picks up his phone. The screen is cracked. He runs away from the girl. Okay. During his walk, he tries to avoid the pink waifu girl because she keeps following him. All right. So he's trying to go on his different path to avoid the girl. Right. So then the businessman comes across this eight foot tall metal creature. Okay. This thing is composed of different metallic parts, old parts. So then... It's wearing a baseball cap. So then the creature takes an, an AM radio and sticks it on his chest. The AM radio is like, okay, that's, that's old technology, right? So then the creature then eyes the man and the pink girl standing behind him. So the creature begins to chase them down. And then the creature corners the man. So the creature has this big lobster claw on his right hand, all right? And then um, the creature corners the man. And then the pink waifu girl actually engages the creature. She rescues the man, the businessman, right? Later that night, the businessman asks her, oh, who is she? She then places her hands over his ears and he can hear music, an 80s music song begin to play. And then the man is transported back to his youth. He's listening to 80s music on a pink cassette player, right? The man then drops to the ground and asks, how is this possible? The creature then, standing behind the girl, snatches her up by her, by her head. And then the creature tells the man, if you don't remember her, I'll take her. So he begins to drag her off by her head. <clears throat> and then he says, he remembers a cassette player. The creature then laughs and throws the girl to the side, right? And then the businessman then attacks the creature with a fire extinguisher. And then he, here we go with this bullshit again. Phone listening. When I didn't ask you to listen, I didn't ask for you. I don't want Spotify. No. Oh my God. Um. Okay, he attacks the creature with the fire extinguisher. Uh, then grabs the girl up, and they they run off. She then places her hands on his ears again. Now it flashes back to his oldest sister. She gave him the pink cassette player because she just had a, she just bought a brand new pink CD player. All right. And then the waifu girl passes out and then he grabs her hand and puts it up to his ear and he begins to listen some more. So then it shows him writing the word pinko. Pinky, right, on the cassette player. And he calls her Pinky. And as it shows him write Pinky on the cassette player, the creature is standing behind 
the girl with his, with his claw out. So then there's a flash of light behind the creature. So then the, uh, in, in another flashback scene, uh, as he's listening to the music, you can see the girl behind him. Okay. So then there's a man yelling with a flash of light. So then the businessman kind of snaps back to reality. He's standing in the middle of a trash heap underneath the lobster claw. The operator is telling him, hey, get out the way. Get out the way. So then he looks in the trash heap and he sees a pink cassette player. He picks it up. He scratches the dirt off. It says pinky. So then <laughs> he's walking home and he's listening to the pink Walkman to that same 80s song that he used to listen to when he was a kid. So then on his way home, uh, he's then tapped on the shoulder by a man wearing a cowboy hat and a silver jacket and sunglasses. He shakes the man's hand and begins to buzz and vibrate. And then a, an alert is heard. He, the businessman then smiles at uh, the man and he recognizes the man as his first pager. I was like, oh my God, that's so deep. I liked it. It was a little short little thing, you know, about the nostalgia of old technology and its connection to us. I liked it. What the fuck?